Welcome back. With millions of cicadas emerging this summer across the state of Illinois and a nation, many are curious to learn more about these critters. Some even curious enough to eat them. Our Marlena Lang spoke with two educators who did just that in hopes to learn more and teach others about these periodic insects. A pizza topping or a tasty treat isn't exactly what comes to mind for most when it comes to cicadas. But for one group of University of Illinois Extension educators, that is exactly what they thought of. U of I Extension horticulture educators Ken Johnson and Chris N. Roth hosted a cicada-themed lunch late last month for their podcast, Good Growing. They wanted to highlight every angle of cicadas from what they do to how they taste. We blanched some, so basically you, you get them, boil them for a minute or two, and that's going to clean them off. And if there's any microbes in them or on them, it's going to kill it. It's basically going to cook them, eat them blanched. They kind of taste like asparagus, uh, and then you roast them. And again, I get the real nutty aroma and kind of a nutty flavor to them. Johnson says they use cicadas that were freshly hatched in order to avoid the wings and legs. But he says if you do use older cicadas to clip off their wings and legs before consuming. But the answer that we all want to know, did the cicada dishes actually taste good? Johnson and N. Roth say yes and recommend that you try something new. A periodical pesto pizza, uh, it is the cicada tempura, and then finally it's the cicada sundae. I wasn't really kicking and screaming, but I, I was hesitant uh, to eat that first cicada. I, I will say it, it's a fun experience. Uh, it, it do take that opportunity, try something new. Now for those who are allergic to shellfish, it is recommended that you do not try cicadas as they are in the same family as shellfish and may cause an allergic reaction. Reporting, I'm Marlena Lang, back to you. That makes me nauseous just thinking about that. Thanks, Marlena. Johnson and N. Roth also advise against harvesting cicadas from areas that have a lot of heavy metals or pesticides in the soil, as cicadas can absorb some of it during their many years underground. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.